5 g adoption in the transformation roadmap is creating a huge amount of adoptability in the auto industry across the entire value chain starting from accuracy and safety track and trace smart charging maintenance digital twins knowledge sharing etc to name a few hcl tech has been working in close proximity with the enablers of uh, these technologies alongside with the service providers like Verizon and the OEMs and tier ones to really create the ecosystem to ensure that all these emerging trends are adopted in a very secure manner to bring more adoptability within the consumer space. The 5G technology within the automotive sector is there to stay for long. Uh, the way the vehicles are being manufactured, how the millennials are looking at the, uh, the consumption of vehicles, be it the shared economy, be it the autonomous vehicles, be it the in-car experience, 5G is going to play a very significant role. So you definitely would need a partner like HCL Tech who understands the, the complete value chain, how 5G from an infrastructure point plays a crucial role, how the engineering element of the in-car plays a significant role in adopting this 5G, but moreover, how the users are going to consume the services that we are trying to build out of all the data that's getting collected and being used to create a safer environment for the drivers. As much as the industry agrees that 5G will be playing a pivotal role in the hyper transformation across the business value chains, especially within the manufacturing process and furthermore as a connected product, the adoption of 5G comes with its own nuances and complexity. Now case in point, when we really look at the core manufacturing process, 5G can be a huge backbone for scaling smart warehouses and factories. And in order to achieve this, the organizations are creating private 5G networks across the board to take the benefit. But the problem is, when we really look at the warehouses and the plants, the assets that these warehouses and plants run are very legacy in nature. And they cannot support 5G as a backbone. Now the capital cost that is required to modernize these assets to make them 5G ready at times outperforms the benefits that you can achieve out of um, you know, bringing 5G in. HCL Tech is helping our customers in this journey to create a pragmatic adoption framework, right? And this helps them adopt 5G faster. And in order to do this, our engineering background, as well as our engineering teams are building these adopters that convert these legacy assets 5G ready. And this is helping them transform and adopt 5G faster without doing a huge capital investment. With the emergence of uh, autonomous and software vehicle models, every vehicle that we are looking at is now becoming like a mini mobile data center. And this is because the amount of data that is generated out of the vehicle operations and the amount of this data that the operations are dependent on because the safety, the awareness and the efficiencies which are going to be the future of the consumer part of uh, the vehicle experience are all dependent on this data that's collected. So when you really look at the consolidation of this, uh, this data and how it is utilized from a vehicle to vehicle communication or vehicle, vehicle to everything interaction, cloud and edge plays a significant role over here. Now, the, the need for the vehicle to process this data in much proximity is a very crucial thing because the data goes through a lot of compression, deduplication and aggregation so that we can create less downtimes and impact the operations or have less impact on the operations of the various applications that are running which is around autonomous driving, the in-car experiences, and vehicle health, right? HCL Tech is working with the likes of NVIDIA to help build a robust and foundational infrastructure so that the uh, OEMs can take the advantage of how Edge is 
more reliable and can provide the necessary experiences that the consumer are looking for.